I learned Shadow Man now. It's done. No, you'll never fucking learn him. Everything I say is based on my own opinions and experience. I'm not speaking for the public, and my feedback should be treated as such. You are watching Miko Evaluates. With 25 years of experience on Mega Man games, 7 years of doing the No Miss Buster Only challenge, and countless Snapster races, as well as being the QA tester for Mega Man Unlimited, I'm here to tell you my honest opinion on different Mega Man games. So sit tight and learn. Hello people and welcome back to Nico Evaluates Mega Man 3. This series is going to get, this series is going to get rather interesting as we go on. Uh, but that's gonna happen in the dark and wily stages. Mostly in the dark stages. Uh, the Robot Master stages in themselves aren't that bad. Why don't we go check Shadow Man though? I have some issues here. So, very nice graphics. I'm not sure how this is not slowing the game down. Look at the background, it's gorgeous. Not a lot of room to uh, battle this guy, and if this is the first time you see it, you're probably just gonna drop down. So, in the end, this guy is totally worthless on this screen. It doesn't have any purpose. You don't have to kill it to go past. And everyone is just gonna go, oh shit, and jump down. So, I think that enemy there doesn't serve any purpose, and that enemy is way too close. You drop down here and it immediately jumps on you. Uh, let's check that again. So here's everyone's reaction. Oh shit! Go down. And then you come down here. Oh! Suddenly just an enemy right on top of you. Remove the first enemy and just have the second one in here. Apart from that, it's an okay enemy. You can't shoot it when it's on the same uh, plane as you. So, because you cannot crouch, of course. Uh, it's a fun enemy, I really like it. So it makes you think on how to uh, battle it. It's very fun, I like that enemy. And usually the positions are pretty good, but that's one occasion where it really doesn't uh, work well. But I, I do enjoy the enemy. It's pretty fun. Mega Kiro. You just have to time your shots and that way you can kill them. So I think the bug exists on this stage as well where you randomly ding your shots against this big pickle man bull. This can get in your way. There we go. Just a random ding for no reason. Proto man makes a new appearance and uh, my uh, previous thoughts on him stay the way uh, they are. So why make Proto man just do this all the time? What, what the fuck? Why can't you make a real pattern? Even even like make him run like that. If you're far away, he does start running. But you're never gonna be far away. You're never gonna be here for him to start walking. And there's no reason for him to walk, because he doesn't do anything when he walks. He just walks. So the only thing he can do is jump and fire. And he has the shield up. But contrary to what some, some people say, the shield does not ding your shots. Why the fuck not? I guess it could be some kind of a story thing. It's break, man. He doesn't have a real shield. Or some some shit like that. But... I don't think there's any excuse to make Proto Man this bad. Sure, you wanna make him easy, cause he's uh, basically here for the story. But you don't wanna make him this easy. And yeah, the shield does, doesn't do anything. So, not enough room to jump over these. You have to shoot them. Except, I think I've gotten lucky once and got, gotten past this guy from here. There we go. You can't jump over like that. But, I think the uh, it's really cool that they turn. So they're, they're not lifeless, they actually turn and try to kill you. Which is uh, a problem in some fan games where people make enemies that don't actually react with Mega Man at all. They just uh, do their own thing and they're, they're just there. But these guys, they actually uh, have a brain. What comes to the grenades, though? Very fun enemy, I think. Uh, they don't turn, so it's kind of like... They're just kamikaze pilots, pretty much. Uh, but I like the design. This is where most people get hit. They don't understand that uh, the hitbox, again, is horseshit. That should not hit you, but yet it does. Yeah, I think it barely reaches you, so... It's a fair hitbox, but... It doesn't look like that's gonna hit you. And the explosion radius... 
is a bit big, it's bigger than the enemy. So you just have to be far away, I think that's a good design. Of course, make the explosion bigger than the enemy itself, that's good. Uh, so, all in all, I do like these guys. Just that one platform is uh, probably not thought out that well, because it barely hits you. You're not gonna expect that. And these light bulbs, once you shoot them three times, they bring the lights back up. Eh, nothing bad. I can get behind that idea. And of course, it's a good thing that there's no pits here. That would be extremely bullshit. But since there's no uh, pits there or spikes, that ends up working out uh, just uh, great. Top spin. We've done a, a Snapsters deranged race as well, on only using the top spin. So if you're interested in that, I'm linking it. So, top spin. Very situational, doesn't come in handy that much. It's also glitched. Uh, sometimes you can train the whole fucking bar on one hit. So that doesn't really make the weapon any good, and there's really no practical reason to be using topspin anywhere else than the couple of situations in the entire game. So really, most of these weapons are just fucking garbage. And what I failed to mention is that you can equip Rush Jet even if you don't have it, uh, but, it, uh, but it has uh, zero energy, but if you pick up weapon energy with it, you can actually use it. So it is not fully required to get Rush Jet, you already have it in your menu. This menu is just bad. It doesn't do anything right. Grinds my fucking gears, that's one thing I hate about this game. And as well, if you use the top spin, it kind of notches you around, but I think this is uh, like one of the uses for top spin is this part. I think uh, it could come in handy if you're unsure. It speeds this section up as well, but for the most part, top spin is really not that good. This is one of those stages where the enemies just play around the weapon wheel, but that's very, very uh, rare. Uh, top spin, it just, it's not good. Sure, you can argue, but if you watch the uh, Snapsters Deranged episode, you'll realize how fucking bad this weapon is. I'm not gonna go over that here, but just to explain some minor things and... The last stretch of this stage, I don't like it. Uh, it... Okay, I've never seen that before. It... Uh, it works in a certain... This part works in a certain way, but it works better if you go from right to left, as you can see. Uh, if you go from left to right, though, the spawn locations are fucking ass. So let's see, uh, let's go back up there. And the rush jet, fucking broken in this game. You can go anywhere you want, it, it doesn't keep going. You can literally move it all around, and I'm not sure if that's a bug, or if that's literally how they intended it to be, but it is the best rush jet of all of the classic series, but it's not the best in the sense that it's fucking broken. I don't think the rush jet should work in that way. It should have a an element of danger into it. It should keep going. It should not be uh, movable freely like that. And it never happened again, so that uh, emphasizes the fact that maybe it was a glitch of sorts that they just didn't fix. So, when you make... So you have to kind of lure this out by jumping like this. If you just go and jump like this, you are fucked. You're gonna get hit. Uh, I would have just made them spawn before you make that jump, because this is stupid. You just have to lure them out. And you have to know that they're coming, and you have to know where they are. That's a weird glitch on the right. Look at that. Hmm. That's fun. But yeah, the NES does have issues with the right side of the screen, so this is... Doesn't necessarily have to do with Mega Man 3, just the NES in general. Uh... So I just don't like this part, it could have been done better, the spawn locations are bad. And then that guy nails you right after you make it. That guy's gonna fucking kill you if you don't know that's there. So again, killing you for fun, something that Mega Man sometimes does, it's not what I uh, like and I don't agree with that design choice. It's right before the gate and sometimes they just uh, want you to die and do it all over again. Shadow Man. One of my least favorite Robot Masters ever fucking made. It is horseshit because he is random. There's nothing to this fight. Shadow Man is completely random. And as you can see, you can indeed dodge everything he does. But there's a caveat to that. It's the hardest thing in the fucking world. He's giving you a millisecond to react. 
he's either gonna launch the throwing stars or he's gonna slide. And there's literally a fucking frame for you to see what he's gonna do. So if you're far away, it's easy to dodge his slide and his uh, throwing stars, but uh, as he comes in and tries to corner you like this, you just have no time to react and well, you could say, why don't you just jump under him before he reaches you at the corner? Well, look at this. He turns! So there's no way to just uh, learn this fight. I know there are videos on YouTube where people are like, This is how you beat Shadow Man. You just do this. It's not gonna fucking work. There's some things you can do to make it easier. I think uh, Felon instructed me on to how to no-miss this guy. But it's still not easy. It's still mostly luck. You don't have the reaction time that this guy requires. You're never gonna learn this. You're always gonna take hits. It's not like I learned I learned Shadow Man now. It's done. No, you'll never fucking learn him. It's the fact that he corners you and doesn't uh, give you any slack. So he should definitely telegraph before he does what he does. Give him at least like 5 to 10 frames Make him blink in a different way. Make him animate. Okay, I'm gonna slide. Make him raise his arm up before he, before he throws the stars. And make him uh, do something different before he slides. That way it gives you time to react. But there is no time. It is one of the worst Robot Masters ever fucking made. It is a... Uh, it's a fun battle. It's a... Uh, I wouldn't say that I would uh, completely remove Shadow Man from the game. It's a tough fight, and it's one of the most hard, uh, most difficult fights ever in an official Mega Man game. And that's fine, I just don't agree with how he was made. It is fine to have hard Robot Masters, but when you have no fucking control over it, then it just becomes bad. And that is my opinion on Shadow Man, I never liked it. I never liked the fight, but I do like his design. His very f but I don't know what's so shadow about it, maybe because he's a ninja or some, some shit. That's just how it is. Uh, shadow Man, not a good design. It is a fun fight though, I have to give it that. It's a very menacing fight, you wanna save E-Tanks for it, and you wanna tackle him uh, last, pretty much. But uh, that's the way Nico evaluates goals. Uh, not a good design. I can't, I can't say that it's good. Snake Man. Uh, one of the weirdest looking robot masters L just looks like a boy who who's been swallowed by a snake. Probably the idea, but stage is very uh, fantastic. I think uh, one of my favorite stages from Mega Man 3 is Snake Man stage. Extremely a cool design. Uh, I like how these snake heads take two hits instead of one. Uh, this guy, eh, I'm not sure about it. It's just uh, uh, I have I, I I think I'm indifferent about this jumpy guy. It's not good and it's not bad, it's just very strange. It's so fast that it kind of glitches into the ground sometimes. But at least uh, it has a semi-pattern, so... Gotta be careful not to spawn shit back up, it's extremely easy to do that. But look at how the snake head turns when it uh, it scrolled in from the right. Attention to detail there. Interesting uh, fact. And the uh, I love the uh, hitboxes as well of those uh, snake heads. So here's your oh shit moment of Mega Man 3. Holy fuck! Think you could, uh. Like. Think you could have made this any harder? Where's the dead spikes, right? But. Why I love these guys is that they are fucking animated. Look at that. Before they shoot, they blink. Except on the first go, apparently. Fuck. I was almost impressed. So the first time they don't do that. I don't know why. But. You can see that it was intended that uh, before they shoot, they will blink their eyes. That's how you animate things. That's how you know they're gonna do something. It's a good design. I like this room. It's an it's an oh shit room. But maybe just add two of these. Why, why three? Especially this is the first transition of the <laughs> of the stage. Extremely uh, difficult. So maybe add this kind of a room at the end of the stage, not here. And uh, one of my favorite meat bosses of all time. One flaw though, these uh, platforms will kind of fuck you up. Stage is also good for speedrunning. Uh, very fun to do. 
like there, the hitbox is very strange. He can jump from uh, thin air, it looks like. If you know the timing, room's fine. But this guy, the problem is the uh, platforms here. You don't want to step on them, because you have no control almost. You keep uh, falling down, so you can't jump if you're on them. So, just stay on the left side. I don't know... Uh, so it's not... So I don't think that degrades the uh, miniboss at all. I think uh, it's just a minor quirk. Because nobody's gonna step on these, right? We're just gonna battle the boss from here. Uh, one way to fix that is to match the speed of Mega Man's fall with this platform so he doesn't uh, notch against them like this. Or just make them fall faster. There is a fix to be made there. So it's not perfect, but I do like this uh, mini boss. It's very fun. You can't pass it before you kill it. Huge wall. That little uh, black spot there always bothered me. I'm not sure why. That's a fun enemy. It gives you time to kill it. And the upside down snakes. I think they actually shoot backwards as well. Let's see. So that's something that I don't like. They don't shoot backwards. Look at that. Extremely well-made stage. This might probably be in the first stage they made for this game. It's so well balanced and everything works. This is something I always want to do. It's fun to jump up there for some reason. There we go. These guys, uh, pole vaulters are fine. Can't shoot them when they are carrying the pole. I'm just not sure what's going on with the sprite. They look like clowns from Mega Man 2 Metal Man stage. So. I think it's a very fun stage. Every enemy has its purpose, and they're carefully placed again. It's a very enjoyable experience. I really like Snake Man stage. Look at this avid room to kill this guy. We can jump over or slide under. I like that. One in a trickier spot. And uh, blocks we'll never see again in any Mega Man uh, classic game after this. I really like this idea. They should have fucking brought this back. That's extremely cool. So they always give you random shit. So Shadow Blade... Basically like uh, Metal Blade. They probably realized everyone is using Metal Blade from Mega Man 2, so they gave you the same weapon again. Except this time it has a range. And it sucks. <laughs> so... Uh, it's not the best. I, I can't say it sucks, but... Considering how bad the weapons are in this game... Uh, I'm just not sure, and you can't fire it uh, diagonally down, so that's another nerf they did. But they wanted to give you the Metal Blade again, for some reason. It's not that good, it comes in handy again in a couple of situations in the game, but it's so slow to fire, you can only fire one at, uh, one at a time, so really, you'll just end up using the buster. Of course, Hard Knuckle, pretty much a mini boss killer, if you uh, just know how to time it, because he'll freeze for a moment. But two uh, hard knuckles on that boss is enough, and that's a, a good design uh, What comes to the weapon usage. Extremely hard jump, always uh, butt puckers when I do that. Got some free health there, if we need it. And it's a longer stage than the rest, for sure, and I like how the scenery changes like this. It's very beautiful. Suddenly you're in the sky, so... Snake Man is quite literally Snake Man. Uh, the stage is snakes, so I don't think any other stage has been this literal. These guys, again, a fun design. I think all of the enemies in this stage are extremely fun. And it's a fun learning experience as well. That first one, you really can't die when you try that out unless you rush, which some people do. But uh, now everyone's, everyone's probably like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You didn't speak about the glitch that happens. Well, didn't I? Let's go back. Sometimes, when you stand on this, and the cloud spawns under you, it will throw you off the platform. That's fun, right? You can see it glitch a bit there. So I don't even know what's going on. Maybe it's your position on the thing. We can test that out here. Why not? There we go, and you're down. So I think it's uh, the fact that you're too close to the edge. You see that little notch in the center as well, but if you're too close to the edge, that notch is enough to push you off. And that's something that people uh, were uh, ripping their hair out for. Kind of the same thing 
and then with the food holders. So really, you don't want to be standing there when the clouds uh, come up. You always want to jump like this. You saw me jump as well when I was doing this section. And of course, you can use the broken rush jet to pass this whole fucking section. And if you jump, it doesn't use energy. So it's extremely broken in my opinion. You can just keep jumping and basically almost infinite rush jet. So another thing that's pretty bad about it. Snake Man is one of those guys where you really need to know the... Uh, you really need to know his pattern to fully avoid him. If you don't, you are gonna get hit. And uh, you basically wanna stand in the middle and jump over him. And at the beginning... And at the beginning it's a bit different, but Snake Man I think is a bit too easy. Once you figure out how he works, he really can't touch you. He, he always does the same thing. He runs back and forth, fires the snakes, and sometimes doesn't fire the snakes. Depends if there's snakes on the uh, screen. This is all he does. You, you've you seen his pu full pattern in three seconds. But Nico, he can also fire the snakes in the middle. Well, bloody fucking da. Doesn't make it any better. I've added another attack on him. A huge uh, attacks of some kind, maybe because he's a snake man, he could... Well, snakes don't dig down the ground, but he could uh, do something similar. Something that a snake does, like... Stand still and uh, fire poison at us or something. Poison traps, that would be cool. Or bite us somehow. Uh, he doesn't do any of that, so he's just... He j he's just a bit of a boring uh, robot master. And once you start to fucking... Uh, fire fast... The fight lags like hell. Look at this. The FPS down to fucking five. And and there really is seemingly no reason for that. It just lags because it wants to. If you agreed on what I said, leave a like. If you disagreed, leave a dislike. I'll catch you next time.